All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to wrap a drawer without taking the whole units out and everything else. All you have to do is just remove this guy and then wrap it. Uh, and this is actually the best way, the best looking way to wrap it and make it look diamonds. So let's get started. I'm going to do a live time and everything. So what I normally do is I remove the, the hands right here or the handle. Sorry. Next I do is I get the uh, invisible glass cleaner. Make sure it's nice and clean. Clean the inside here too because we're gonna be wrapping it. Okay, there's little stoppers, soft stoppers right here. Just gonna put it real close by, I don't forget. If there's any glue or residue, just kinda get it. The glass, uh, invisible glass cleaner actually does really good removing this kind of stuff too. Once it's nice and clean, make sure there's no high boys or what I call boogers. Next thing I do is I use a primer 94. I get in between here back end just most important is the front end. It's gonna go all the way here, get all nice and evenly. And once this is drying, then I'm gonna measure and then cut. By the time I get done with doing that, all this will be dry. It only takes moments for it to dry. I usually let it set for a couple minutes at least. Now, take the measurements. So this is actually eight inches. So what I go is, on this one, um, I'm gonna go about 20 inches. The reason why, I'm gonna show you. And I kinda go from there. So I'm gonna cut 20 inches, the, the grain's going up and down, just what you're seeing right here, up and down. And then I'm gonna cut it uh, 20 inches. I'm gonna have a little leftover here, I'm gonna show you. Let's go down here real quick. I'm gonna use my bodyguard knife. Roll out the product. So next, it was eight inches high. I'm gonna go right here. I'm gonna mark it right about there. Um, actually nine inches. Actually, I'm gonna go about 10 inches. So I'm gonna do it right here. And I'll show you the reason why I wanna do it that way. This will be the bottom right here. And you'll have enough to bleed so you can do the cut. I'm gonna try to cut as straight as possible. Do it one more time. This is called tacking on strip. Okay. Remove the tacking on strip. And we can do it to find something that you can block when it shuts. Now, the strip right here, it's gonna go line up right, exactly right here. So you know it is level, and I'm gonna to try to center it 
much as I can, and I'll show you. So what you're just doing, you're just lining it up with that cut line, and you're tacking it on. It doesn't have to be perfectly lined up, but you get the idea. There you go. So it's all lined up tackle. So you have a, now, now you do is you check underneath. I got about an inch bleed going in that way. And this should be enough uh, vinyl to go up and over and around that area. And if you want to double check. Yeah. So one inch bleed right, or yeah, I estimate about one inch bleed right here going in and over. So it's right about there and it's about almost nine inches. So you got enough going all the way around. Okay. So we can do. I don't trust that paper, so it's going to go this way. Squeegee. Bring that down. Make sure you have enough final going this way and this way. Okay. Now we got plenty of vinyl going over here, so I'm gonna actually cut the excess off right here. I'm gonna about to two inches. So this right here is about two inches. And so I'm just gonna kind of follow that guy right there. If not, you're gonna be fighting with this little guy right here. Same thing. my squeegee I'm gonna shove it down this way all the way down okay now right where the corner is at I can kind of fill the corners at you can actually get right where the corner is at and cut a little in so it actually releases the vinyl right there so what I'm going to do now, shove it all the way in. Take my knife. And right here, it's kind of go this way. So it goes underneath the cabinet door a little bit. That one part right there, cut underneath. Do it that way. Now I'm going to cut into the middle and work way up and down. Just cut all the little uh, high boys out. Cut right up to the top right here. So that's all one big unit right there. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip it up or flip it on the, the side now. Cut that way.
and take your time cutting down. I usually get the big chunks off first so I can see where I'm going. And I usually bring my knife out as far as you can. I'm gonna actually replace this knife. Um, a sharper knife works better. Okay. There we go. Let's just kind of see where the slivers are. There we go. Okay, and then cut the bottom part right here. Okay, let me go work on the other side next. Okay, I'm gonna use this thickness right here. It's one eighth inch thick. It's, it's gonna get close to it. And what I'm doing is I'm, I'm baby cutting it in. So it's one inch thick right there. Now I'm taking my other squeegee. That's why I'll make sure it's pushed in all the way in the corner. Okay. So it shrunk it in that way. Now I'm gonna do another cut. Okay, last and not least. Close to everything. You can kind of see how the vinyl is leveling out or dancing a little bit. It softens up the vinyl. Activates the glue a little bit more. Focusing on a little bit of the corners right there. I can see it dancing a little bit. And that is it. Oh, last one, last thing. Put these little stoppers on here. So, court time. See how long it took to do this one unit and the measurements and everything. And so the next job you do, you can count how long it'll take to do it and the material.